recently got placed in Maruti as a data engineer uh, and data analyst profile you can say but they have not categorized it because I will be the one who will be setting up the entire department for them. Before Maruti I, I enrolled myself for the data science C60 program in, in analytics lab and before that I was working with XIXL as a catastrophic modeling analyst. If I talk about analytics labs in specific Yes, of course you can uh, learn anything and everything with analytics labs, the way they make you learn things from scratch, from very basic, like I come from a very non-technical background, I started my career with a KPO, rather I would say first of all the first job of mine was in a BPO wherein I was a telecaller, I used to take calls, so that's how basic I was on technical skill sets, abilities and everything. Later on, I started working with KPOs and they were back in jobs. I was a little familiar with uh, Excel. The instructors, and instructor and the case studies and the questions. I believe analytics lab set of questions, case studies helped me a lot. While he was making us learn how uh, to treat an outlier, he shared his one of his experience with us that actually helped me to crack the first round of interview because the interviewer was impressed with the approach I had for EDA part. Before even thinking of getting in data science, you really need to understand it's not a normal regular program of any graduation or degree. It will not be something which will be a hunky dory. You have to invest time. I've sit on a system for a stretch in for, for 12 hours in a stretch to understand a one particular case study in and out and that's what that's the amount of efforts goes in to understand data analytics data science and then is when things will fall in place for you if you think that you will only invest two hours or four hours a day and that will work for you it will not gonna work for you that is for sure before even getting into this role you have to be very clear in your head that the learning would be a long process you have to be patient and there will be at times when you will not be able to solve those things the dedication or determination has to be there, that you have to do it, especially for people who are coming from a non-technical background. See, when you think of self-pays, you think of how would the doubts would be solved, how would you approach them, and how would they answer it, and how, how much time would it take to answer one particular question, because there's life other than the course as well. So you have to segregate your life and other things to those part of your life as well. That becomes the biggest question. But to my surprise, there wasn't there wasn't even one single instance where I have a doubt and which wasn't answered within the video. Like either any student would ask a question related to that, which I, even I have, or Manuj by himself would say something which would answer my question or my doubt. So within that particular video, that one, one session for three hours would answer all my questions and I wouldn't have any doubts other than the case studies, which will eventually everyone would have. Doubt sessions and doubt handling was the best part uh, of analytics lab. I can say that, that that's a USP for them, that they, the way they teach us don't have any doubts, to be very honest. And unless you are not focused, and in case you are not focused in anything and everything, 